uh, I'm going to be using the ESP8266 uh, board in a lot of my tutorials, so I thought I'd show you how to set it up for use in the Arduino IDE. Now, if you're using uh, the Arduino IDE, if you already have it, make sure that you have um, Arduino IDE 1.69 or newer, or somewhere around there. If for some reason you go to do this and things I'm telling you to go to aren't there, it's probably because you're using an older model or maybe in a couple of years a newer model. Uh, but just to let you know, that's the version I'm using. So this is a fairly fresh install. Oh, and also there'll be a link in the description to all the information on how to, where to get the Arduino IDE if you need to get a newer version. Um, uh, and also the links that I'm going to be showing you here, as well as uh, a link to the pinout for the version of the ESP8266 uh, node module that I use. Anyway, check out, always check out the links in the description. They're always good, there's always good stuff there. So in here what we need to do is we're going to need to go to Preferences under Edit, so File, Preferences, and you'll have this Add Boards Manager URLs, and paste in this URL, which will be uh, in the description of this video, if I don't brain fart and completely forget to put it in there. But it's from the ESP8266.com website, so it's arduino.espa266.com forward slash stable forward slash package forward slash ESP8266.com underscore index dot JSON, and click OK. What that's going to do is now we can go to Tools and we can go down here to Boards and go to Boards Manager. And in here, after we've added that, that URL under Preferences, I can type in ESP and you can see this ESP by ESP community here and click Install. Let it download, install. There we go. It doesn't take very long, 10, 15 seconds. You only have to do that once, unless you uninstall your IDE, then you might have to do it again. But now, if you go to examples, you can come down here, and there should be, oh, well first, yeah. First, you gotta change your board. So here, uh, make sure that you choose your board. In my case, I'm using a generic uh, ESP8266 uh, module. Actually, I just realized that the node MCU is here, uh, which is actually, I'm using one of those boards, but I've always, up until now, I've always chose generic, and it's worked great. I'll have to look into that. Uh, so if you don't know what board it is, you don't see yours here, and there's a few different types of ESP8266, choose generic ESP8266 uh, module. Uh, and then, once you do that, you can go to examples and choose an example such as Blink. And you can send that. And remember, if you're using this board, to press the flash button. Uh, when it's uploading now, so there we go. So it's now it's uploading. If for some reason it says that it, it couldn't, it's either a permission issue or you forgot to hold down that flash button. Once it starts uploading, you can let go of that. Um, do note this is a slower board than your Arduino, so it does take a little longer to compile and upload uh, stuff to it. Uh, let me make this full screen here. So we're at 72%, and this is just a basic blink. With an Arduino, this would have been done in like three seconds. With this board, it takes 10 or 15 seconds, but there we go. And uh, the LED will be blinking if you have it hooked up. Uh, depending on your module, you might have to change the pin out on that. Uh, but that is it, and again, plenty of example codes here. And also check out the link in the description of this video to my uh, GitHub where I have lots of codes for, my, for the ESP as well as the Arduino. Anyway, short video, just wanted to go over that since I'm gonna be using it a lot in future tutorials. Uh, be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris K. There's a link in the description to that. And you can search through videos from both my websites there. Um, also, if you enjoy my videos, before check, be sure to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melix1000. It's a place to get early access to videos and other goodies uh, for supporting me. I appreciate that. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you do like my videos. That helps a lot. And uh, also, subscribing allows you to not miss any of my videos. And if you want to look through my videos, I've got a lot on my, I got a whole lot on my first channel, and I'm building up a collection here on my second channel, which is focusing on hardware. Be sure to check out the playlists, because uh, that way you make sure you watch videos in order, because sometimes they build upon each other. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day. <laughs>